Hey everyone, we are out here at Matt Barnes and Snoop Dogg's Celebrity Football Game, and we just heard the amazing national anthem from you. Yes, oh, absolutely. Me. All right, introduce yourself to everyone. I'm Joy Enriquez, and um, I'm on the show House of Joy with my family. Absolutely. Yeah. So first, let's talk about. Um, do you get nervous because we always see so many different, like on YouTube, so many like fails because the national anthem is so tough to sing. You done it enough that you you were confident, or was there some nerves? Um, I think that you know I've done a lot since I was really little, and I'm not little anymore. Yeah. Um, it's like the national anthem. You better know the words if you're going to sing it. If you don't know it, don't sing it. Yeah. But besides that, it's always finding the first note. It's like, what's the first note? I don't want to sing too high, sing too low. So that's usually what it is. It's always about finding that first note. And then after that, it's a breeze once you hit those high notes. Yes, and you hit those high notes and you killed it. So you just did that. Uh, you, Who are you going for? The celebrities, which is Snoop Dogg's team? Or are you kind of going for the athletes who do this on a normal basis? Oh, like Matt Barnes. I, I do like the athletes. Don't get me wrong. I think, you know, I like to, I like to see a mean throw here and there. So... Like to see some uh, some flags being pulled and yes. some tackling. So, uh, athletes. I'm a Clipper fan. Okay, Clipper fan. Now we got to talk about you. You have this show um, on Nuvo, yeah. uh, House of Joy. So obviously, you know, you're with Ronnie Jerkins, who's produced some of the biggest songs on the planet. Husband. Uh, husband. He's my husband. What did I say? With. Yeah. That's what I consider husband. Like you're with. Like you guys are together. Yeah. I know you're married. Yeah. Um, so you guys have a family together. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the big decisions you had to make as an artist was kind of put artists on the back burner to raise a family. Is that difficult for women in this industry? Because men don't have to really worry about that. I, it wasn't a problem for me. I'm Mexican-American. I come from family. I have 36 cousins. My mom's the oldest of 10. Um, so for me, it was like once I started having children, my kids were first. Now we're doing a reality show about my family. There's nothing better than doing a reality show with my family, in my house, with my kids, with everybody. It's like heaven sent. Now watching the show, I mean, have you gotten to a point now where it's like you don't even realize the cameras are there and you're just doing your thing and then you're like oh yeah they're filming us sometimes you forget they're there you're like oh whoa snap yeah yeah yeah, yeah. what yeah. is that experience like for your whole family like you know being kind of like cameras all around you you guys enjoying it you guys talk about it i mean how, how is it the consensus as a family my kids love it they are hams they were like they're like oh they're in the camera all the time you just kind of get used to it you know what to say what not to say and pretty much it just helps you as a family too just like whoa don't say that don't be like that and just being anyways always being right by one another we we don't we try not to fight a lot we try not to have we always be believe that don't ever let the sun go down in your anger so that's kind of what you're going to see on our show too we're not crazy hitting each other, cussing at each other. We're about resolving everything. So, you know, if we have a moment, we're going to resolve it all the time. And what is it like being, you know, obviously being Mexican-American, having a channel like Nuvo support you and support your project right now? It feels great because, I mean, we have a voice too. Yeah. Mexican-American, it's nice to know that we're going to have a ch channel that caters to the urban market. I believe we're urban, you know. Where's the urban? I, you know, I'm born and raised in Los Angeles. Hello, LA. Los Angeles, <laughs> LA. So I'm a Chicana, a real born Chicana. Light hair. They call me Weta, but it feels good. Yeah. yeah. And so, if somebody is like on the fence about watching the show, what do you think they're going to get from it? Why do they have to sit down and make sure this show is something they watch? I don't know. We're a bicultural family. You know, I'm Mexican American. My husband's African American. You get both worlds. You get to see how two worlds work together. We're a faith based family so if, if you're into you know resolving things with God in the middle that's who we are and to be honest we're right we're in the industry we have children we're we work we work really hard with our kids and we go really hard and you get to see like and we have family that lives with us my mom my dad my sister my brother and you get to see us all living under one roof helping one another working towards a goal now what um, about your music project what are you doing right now because I know that you obviously come from music are you still having to put that on hold for your family are you starting to record tell us about that we're back in the studio Rodney and I are back in the studio working on music getting back in there um, you know Jennifer Lopez is one of our executive producers along with Patty Stanger so you know we have a lot of great heads on board on on our um, on our t on our show yeah. so we have a lot of people that are involved but I'm back in the studio back working now that my kids you know I have a, a 10 month 
month. Now she's like 10 months, a three-year-old and a five-year-old going off to kindergarten. So um, it feels good that I can start getting to move forward and get out there and start singing again because that's what I love. That's how Rodney and I met. Yeah. So. What, what do you want to say on this next project? You know, it's so important now, not only the beats, but definitely the lyrics and the message of an album. What do you have to say that you really want to put out there in your music? I've been through a lot. I, I'm going, um, you know, 10 years in marriage. My husband and I have almost been married for 10 years since 2004. Yeah. And, you know, in marriage, you go through a lot. You've been through heartbroke. You've been, I've been heartbroken even in a marriage. People sometimes go through struggle. They could be married to somebody and they can be, they can feel lonely. They can feel hurt. They can feel a lot of feelings that people don't realize. So in a marriage, you feel a lot of things too, but we get through it. You know, there's no, we don't believe in, you know, divorce. We don't believe in just like, let's, let's just call it quits. And that's what you're going to get. You're going to get, you know, let's not give up. And this record's going to have everything. And no matter what pain you go through, you can make it. You're going to, you're going to come out of it for love, for every situation. And that's where my heart is right now. I have three kids and you know, life isn't always easy. Yeah. You know, people always think, oh wow, you know, you got three kids or you have a, you have a pretty good sized house, your car runs, you got gas. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah. You know, all it means is like, honestly, we have God in our life and every day we wake up and we're just blessed to be, you know, that God wakes us up every morning. Yeah. So at this point, that's what the music's going to say. We're just, I'm just excited that, you know, that God's giving me another day to breathe, live and to sing. And you got Rodney on your side, one of the best producers, so that's always nice as an artist. Yeah. Um, yes, definitely. So tell them where they can see it, where the information about the show definitely. is. Definitely. I'm Joy Enriquez, and you can watch our show, House of Joy, on Nouveau TV. If you don't get it, then call your local cable network and tell them you better get it. Yes. Yeah. So that's it, pretty much. And it's, it's pretty nice to have J-Lo and uh, Patty Sanger get your back. So make sure you guys check this out. You know Rodney Jerkins. You know Joy. Find out more about kind of the behind-the-scenes stuff on your show. So, and then if you don't get it, then you can also watch us on Hulu. So you can get it on Hulu if you're at home. Check us out. You can go to my Twitter at Joy Enriquez. Facebook, my husband's Twitter, Rodney Jerkins, is at Rodney Jerkins. His Instagram's Rodney Jerkins. You know? And then lastly, take us out by saying something to all your Latin fans in Spanish and uh, tell them. Spanish? I'm Mexican American. That means I only speak a little bit of Spanish. Hablas español y. Muy poquito. I love you mucho. Say besos para todos. Besos para todos. That means kisses for all. Bye. All right, you guys, make sure you check it out. She's got some big things happening right now. You don't want to miss it. Watch on Nouveau TV. I'm on what?